Hi, Max. When do you get back? Late last night. Around midnight. Was your vacation fun? Yeah, it was. But I can't talk now. Can I call you later? Sure. Sarah, it's been a long time. Yes! It's so nice to see you again, Hannah. Are you still living downtown? Yes. But I have a different apartment now. Really? What's your new apartment like? Oh, it's just beautiful. Will, good to see you again. Hey, James, how's it going? Great, thanks. You? I'm okay. Ready for classes? I guess. How was your summer? Well, it started... Hello, I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. I'm Jenny. It's nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too, Jenny. Are you new here? Yes, it's my first day. Mine too. Oh, so we're both new. Yeah. Do you know anyone here? Yes, I know that. Excuse me, Mr. Tanaka? Yes? Uh, may I introduce myself? Uh, my name is Jeremy Lee. Ah, I'm Hiroshi Tanaka. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you enjoying your visit? Oh, yes. I'm enjoying... Bob? Oscar! How are you? It's been ages. Great. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Well, except for the suit. Yeah, I know. I have to wear a suit for my new job. A new job? What's your new job? Well, I'm actually working... Andy, how are you doing? Uh, not so good. I have a terrible headache. I hope I'm okay by 3 o'clock. Why? What's happening at 3 o'clock? I'm taking my driving test again. I failed it the first time. Oh, I'm sure you'll pass this time. Oh, I just can't fail the test again. What'll I do? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do fine. Maggie, are you okay? No, I'm not. It's just one thing after another. The same thing happened last week, and I swore I'd never go there again at lunchtime. It's the worst time. Go where? To the bank. I waited in line for a half an hour. Now I'm really in a bad mood. Justin, are you okay? I can't believe I just did that. I just called Linda Reed at home to ask her out on a date. Great. Did she say yes? Not exactly. I asked, and then I heard someone giggling. I had asked her little sister. <laughs> she sounded just like Linda. Oh, I'm sure Linda will think it's funny. <gasps> this is incredible. What's going on, Donna? It's my history test. Look. Wow, 100%. You got a perfect score. Congratulations. I can't believe it. This has never happened to me before. This week has been terrible. Nothing seems to be going right these days. Did something happen, Raul? It's something different every day. This morning, I left my wallet at home, so I couldn't get the bus to school. I had to walk all the way in the rain. Come on, cheer up. Let's go get some coffee or something. You'll feel better. So, Steve, uh -huh. how well do you remember your first day of high school? Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> really? How did you feel? I was so anxious. Really? I couldn't sleep the night before. Well, why did you feel anxious? Well, I wanted to make a good impression on everyone. You know, I wanted the other kids to think I was cool and confident. Oh, well, how about you, Janet? How do you feel? Well, I wasn't really anxious. I was excited. My brother had told me so much about the school. He was two years ahead of me. Oh. I already knew a lot of his friends. So what were your first impressions of the school? They I were already so... knew... <laughs> Sorry, after you. <laughs> no, go ahead. Thanks. Well, I remember how big the school was. Um, my previous school was a lot smaller, and there were so many other kids... Well, they look like grown-ups to me, not kids. I know what you mean. But in my case, it wasn't all new. I'd been to some events because my brother was in the orchestra and played on some sports teams. Ah. So my first impressions were, 
Well, that it was all familiar, in a good way. I see. So, how many students were in your classes? Oh, um, there were around 30, 32. My classes were smaller. There were usually about 25. Hmm. Do you remember your first teacher? Oh, yes, Mrs. Rodriguez. <laughs> what was she like? Oh, she was so kind. Oh. She always listened to us carefully. Mm -hmm. She brought out the best in everyone. Wow, my first teacher was a lot different. Really? <laughs> Mr. Conway. Ah, oh, I remember. He shouted all the time. Well, maybe that was because he wasn't very good at discipline. You know, controlling the class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He always seemed angry. Did anything surprise you about high school? Yeah. We had to work really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had so much homework. It took me so long to do. What surprised me was how the boys and girls didn't mix. Yeah. yeah all my school friends in the first year were girls. Well, that changed later, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, how was your trip to Asia? Where did you go? All over. We went to Japan and Korea and even to China for a few days. Ooh, how nice. Yeah, it really was. But I remember it was really hard to read certain basic things, things like signs and labels in stores. Yeah? You could read the price, but not any other information. Huh. Many products in the supermarkets don't have any English on them at all. So you have to rely on the pictures on the label or buy international brands like Coca-Cola. Oh, gosh, that would be hard. It was. Well, how about in restaurants? The food's very different from Western food, right? The food is great, but you're right. Yeah, it is different. In China and Korea, you really have to have someone with you to help with the menu. Mm. But in Japan, it's surprisingly easy to order food in restaurants. Really? Why is that? Well, you see, they have plastic models of the food dishes in the window outside, so you can point to what you want. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes they have photos inside the menu, too. Ah. That's really helpful. So even if the people in the restaurant don't speak English, it's very easy to order a meal. And I don't just mean McDonald's or pizzas. Real Japanese food. How was your trip to Europe? Where did you go? Well, I spent one week in Hungary visiting some friends. Oh. Then we went to England for another week. Nice. And finally, we spent some time in Holland and Germany. It sounds like a great trip. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And very interesting. Huh. Hungary was a little hard, though, because they used the Roman alphabet, but none of the words are the same as English. Huh. I remember I had some trouble in a restaurant oh. when I wanted to go to the restroom. <laughs> I had to learn that ferfiak means men and nuk means women. Huh. I didn't know, and so I waited till I saw which door another customer went through. <laughs> Another problem I had was in England. The people there talked so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't understand them at first. But after a few days, they seemed to talk more slowly. I guess I just got more used to their accents. What about in Holland and Germany? How would you manage there? Well, interestingly enough, that wasn't a problem. No? So many people spoke English there, and they talked slowly. So it was pretty easy to understand them. Yeah. In the restaurants, there was usually a menu in English. And in the hotels, of course, all the staff spoke English. So, Sarah, how was your vacation? Oh, great. We went to China and Korea and Japan. It was quite an experience. And this was your first time there? Oh, my first time outside of North America, yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. But I have to say, it was also a little scary sometimes. I mean, life is so different from here in the U.S. I, I made a lot of mistakes. But luckily, people seem to laugh about them rather than get offended. That's good. <laughs> yes. Oh, I remember one day, I went to visit my friend at her parents' apartment in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. They bowed to me, and they offered me some slippers to put on. But I said... No thanks, and walked into the apartment. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Without removing his shoes? Yes, that's right. Oh, well, now I know that was a mistake. Oh, and another thing I did wrong was in China. 
Uh, I visited the school and the class. They gave me a, a present all beautifully wrapped, and I opened it right there to see what it was. That was a big mistake. Yep. When you get a present, you're supposed to unwrap it in private. <laughs> you know, when you're alone. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, and then in, in Korea, I went out with some people for a meal. Mm. And we all had to sit on the floor, not in chairs. And that wasn't really a problem. But we were all around this table with bottles of drinks in the middle. And mm. I made the mistake of helping myself. <laughs> yeah. What right. you are supposed to do is wait for the person next to you to pour it for you. Mm -hmm. And then you do the same for him or her. Right. So the guy next to me really wanted a drink and was waiting for me to pour it for him. <laughs> oh, no. It was terrible. <laughs> Oh, I remember when I first came to the United States, things were pretty strange for me, too. Really? Yeah, one thing that was hard at first was eating in restaurant. Oh, you mean eating with a knife and fork instead of chopsticks? No, actually the problem was that I wasn't using a fork correctly. Oh. When we use a knife and fork in Japan, we cut the food with a knife and put it in our mouth with a fork. Uh-huh. And we do this all through the meal. We keep the fork in our left hand. And what you seem to do here is begin by cutting up all the food into pieces. Hmm, yeah. Then you set the knife down and use the fork in the right hand to put the food in your mouth. Wow, I never really thought about that. And I had another embarrassing experience. I wanted to buy a $30 guidebook, right? Right. So I gave the salesperson three $10 bills. But she said it wasn't enough. She said that the prices in stores don't include sales tax and the tax is different in each state. So it's impossible to figure out the correct amount of money for any purchase. Mm. You just have to wait for the salesperson to tell you how much to pay. Yeah, I guess you just have to get used to I it. I guess so. And oh, and another thing. I went to a baseball game and they played the national anthem. I stood up like everyone and put my hand over my heart. But later I found out that wasn't enough. I didn't remove my cap. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a sign of respect. Yes, now I know. And another thing I can't get used to is the way American people always look at you while you're having a conversation. <laughs> they keep looking at you all the time, you know? They want to keep eye contact. In Japan, we don't look people in the eye so much. We look away a lot more. I know. I had the opposite experience in Asia. People didn't like me looking them in the eye. <laughs> I can't learn to do that. I can't learn not to do that. Hey, Joseph. A bunch of us are going to go out tonight after work. Would you like to come with us? Oh, thanks, Mary. I'd love to, but my back is killing me. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, I was working out at the gym yesterday, and I... I think I overdid it. Oh, you poor thing. Well, what are you going to do for it? Nothing, really. You know what? Oh, Amanda, look at you. You are so sunburned. I know. I went to the beach yesterday, and I fell asleep in the sun. Oh, my gosh. Well, does it hurt? Yeah, it really does. I feel like I'm on fire. Have you tried... Hey, Brad. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh, hey, Mary. Do you happen to have any aspirin? I've got a terrible headache. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Actually, though, I do know of a really good natural cure for headaches. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll try anything. Okay, well... How about you, Jason? Do you have a best friend? Uh, yeah, I do. So, where did you first meet? Well, we used to work in the same office. That's where we met. Then I got transferred to a different branch a couple months later. Hmm, I see. And how are you alike? <laughs> well, we hit it off right away. We like the same kind of things, you know, like music and movies. Cool. And we both love to discuss things. We have arguments all the time. <gasps> really? So what do you do together? Oh, uh, well, we're both really interested in movies. We go to the movies about once a week. How about you, Patricia? Who's your best friend? Well, her name's Jane, and I've known her for, uh, let me see, about ten years. And where did you first meet? Oh, in junior high school. We were classmates. So, how are the two of you alike? Uh, well, 
we're the same age, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> but what we have in common is that we both love to be outdoors. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So what do you do together? <laughs> well, we both like shopping. Oh, but most of all, <laughs> we do a lot of outdoor activities together, uh, like mountain biking, hiking, oh, stuff like that. Cool. How about you, Nick? Who's your best friend, and where did you meet? I guess my best friend is Tony. He's my brother-in-law. He's married to my sister, and we first met at their wedding. Hmm. That was about eight years ago. How are you alike? Well, he's a few years older than me, but we have a lot in common. We both like sports, and we both find the same things funny. <laughs> you know, we laugh at the same kinds of things. So, what do you do together? We hang out together whenever we can. Hmm. We watch sports together because my sister hates sports. <laughs> um, so how about you, Marcy? Where did you meet your best friend? Oh, well, we worked in the same office. He was already working there. When I first started working, he was really helpful and made me feel comfortable. We became friends right away. And how are you alike? Alike? Well, actually, we aren't very alike. I mean, he's pretty tall, and I'm kind of short. <laughs> he likes sports, but I don't. He's a good cook, but I'm not. So what do you do together? Oh, Jason loves movies, so we... Wait a minute. Your best friend is Jason? Yes, Jason. We both love movies, so we get together every Monday and go to the movies. And how does your boyfriend feel about that? Oh, he doesn't mind. He's never free on Mondays, and he doesn't like movies much anyway.